my second layout for the build a page series this is the page kit that i put together with the flip appeal designs papers so those are some papers in a little kind of mini kit that jen put together for flip appeal designs I will leave her links down below. Please go check her out. She is absolutely amazing and talented and beautiful and lovely. She's just a really great human being. And um, yeah, go and check out her stuff. You are going to love it. She gave me these papers and said, play. And so that's what I'm going to do. I absolutely adore everything she does. The colors are so fun. She always has the best puns she's just one of those people that you can tell just genuinely enjoys what she's doing and has a lot of fun with it and so it it inspires creativity because you can feel it from the papers it came from her and it just inspires you to want to do the same uh, and so I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this layout I added a whole bunch of stuff into this page kit that would fulfill the different squares on my bingo card. That's what we're doing for the month of April. All of us are following a bingo card that Moira put together. And uh, yeah, it's been kind of fun. There were a couple that I knew right away I was going to be able to fulfill. And there were a couple where I was like, hmm, that is going to take a little bit of creativity. So I started off by getting the hardest one out of the way, which was the flamingo, uh, and I and I got it done. And so that layout has already been posted. You can go and check it out. It is quite the wild adventure of <laughs> of creativity. Let me know what you think about it. I'm still not sure if I love the layout or not, but there are flamingos on it. And so I got a lot of bingo uh, squares checked off with that one. And I'm doing the same thing with this one. And not to spoil anything, spoiler alert here, but I end up loving this layout. So uh, happy ending for this uh, video compared to my last one. Um, so I put three pieces of Jen's collection in here. It's the lips, lashes, and legs collection. And then I also put some photos from um, my daughter from a dance recital. It kind of had um, oranges. The collection has some oranges in it. And the the kids' dance costumes ha uh, were orange. And so I thought that worked really good. And then I've also added these hexagons that are wood veneer. So there was um, obviously a wood veneer square, but there was also a mixed media square. And so here you can see I'm using some gesso, some texture paste, and this beautiful embossing powder, uh, heat set powder from um, Emerald Creek. And it's just gorgeous. And as I'm heating it up, I was actually doing a bit of a happy dance. You can't really tell because of how much the video is sped up. But this blue is pretty much an exact match for the blue in Jen's collection. So I was super, super happy that everything kind of matched. This pink that I was going for is not the same. Um, but we all know the struggles I have with trying to match colors. I'm totally okay with it. It's a lot brighter than I thought it would be, but that's okay. I'm going with it. I think it's fun. You can see here that my pictures are super dark, so having bright colors is not a problem. Um, it was just, you know, we were back behind um, the stage, you know, down one little alley. You know how it is if you've been... Um, in theater or if you're a dancer all those little dark alleys backstage are so uh you know kind of squished and it's really bad lighting and stuff so the pictures are super dark and so adding pops of bright color was really not going to be a problem um but i had so i had those hexagons those fulfilled quite a few boxes um wood veneer being one geometric uh geometric shapes being the other um, mixed media being another one. I also have enamel dots that I threw in here. So that was on the, uh, the bingo card and acrylic. I'm going to use, um, an acrylic title 
and then also chipboard is in here. Is there anything else? That might be it. Oh, tags. Tags was another one. So lots and lots of squares being ticked off with this particular layout. Also a grid design. So I'm going to use this paper uh, because it's basically already in a grid. I'm just going to use this to help kind of build my, my design off of. Now I didn't want to take this whole paper and just try to use it the way it is. I wanted to try to do something a little bit more creative. And so I'm going to use the outside of the paper for my grid. And then I'm going to create a little spot in the center that is brighter and lighter and just kind of gives your eye somewhere to rest. You know, just chill a little bit, take a break um, and help take in all of the details. So I cut out the center and now I'm going to pop this gorgeous lash paper into the middle and this will kind of be where I add my photos and um, it'll sort of be the, the grounding spot for my little embellishment clusters. So I, you can see right away just by having that white paper there and having so much white space, it lightens my pictures up almost instantly. So that is what I was hoping would happen and it did. So I kind of fiddled around to see how I wanted the embellishments to go. I actually really like how they look in this exact spot. That's not where they end up because you know what? I'm, I know you guys do this too. You kind of place everything down a little bit and then when you want to start actually sticking things down and you move it all, it never goes back into the right place. Sometimes it goes back into better places, but for me, often when I look back at my videos, I'm like, ooh, I should have tried to look back and put those in the exact same spots I initially had them. That's okay. I still love how it turns out and I like where I ended up putting them, but it's I always find that really funny that... Um, that happens to me all the time. So uh, one of the bingo squares actually it was to use two different alphas. And so I was trying to do something like that on this layout. I have those thickers up above that um, you saw me fiddle with just a little bit and then put away. Those were going to be my MacGyvered word dance. And then I was going to kind of tuck them in with the acrylic word that says friends so that the title would be dance friends. But then as I was going through some of my stash, I found these chipboard pieces and one of them said dance like nobody is watching. And so I just cut off the like nobody is watching and kept the word dance because it's orange and orange is kind of the little highlight color that you see in between all of the the rectangles with the lips in them and so it was the jumping off point really for putting all of this together with the pictures and the papers and so I, I pulled out all of those orange words so I've also got memories hooray and then up at the top it's actually um, sort of a grayish beige banner but the words themselves are orange and they say let's do this I think that's what it says yeah let's do this so it all kind of worked out it all they all seemed to to find their place and they all had that right orange to them and so I decided to scrap the alphas and not um not do that and just use the word dance so I've got dance friends I almost thought maybe I could layer the two of them together and do some sort of cool effect that way but it just didn't work out it was going to be too busy so um I will keep that word together and pop it back into my stash and I know at some point I'll be using the word dance again um so yes, so that's my title down there, Dance Friends. And then here are my little embellishment clusters. So each cluster has a word, or I guess up at the top, it's a whole phrase, but uh, each one gets a piece of chipboard. Three of my hexagons, um, the two bottom clusters on either side also have a little acrylic heart. That was all in a, in a little baggie together. All of the acrylic words, um, like the word friends and uh, yeah, the word friends 
and the hearts and all the other acrylic words that you saw me pulling out yesterday, or I guess now it's been a couple days uh, ago, are all from um, the Scrapbook and Cards Today sampler packs. Usually when you get your sampler pack, there's some sort of theme or title that comes um, each month and then there's an acrylic word that matches that. So I have a whole bunch of those left over. So that's where those came from. And then the, whoa, I don't know if you heard that squealing. Wow. Um, that was somebody's car tire squealing down the street. Um, and so then the chipboard is all from Altenew. And then I'm just going to add the little enamel dots. Those are from Stampin' Up! And they are pretty close to the colors. There's a pink and a green and kind of an orangey color and a purple. And um, they're not exact matches, but they're very, very close. So I thought that worked out really well. So I've got one of each of those colors just to kind of build up that cluster a little bit and then at the very beginning I don't know if you noticed but I did cut off the orange on the sides of this just because it isn't a true grid not all of the rectangles are exactly the same size and so I was just trying to trick the eye a little bit into thinking that they were and so I cut the orange off of either edge of the paper just so that um, you couldn't see that one was a little bit thicker than the other. And so now I just have to build that paper back out again to make sure that it's um, a true 12 inches. And so this is where that third piece of paper comes into play. But I realized when I was trying to put it together that there really wasn't going to be a lot of it showing and it definitely blend, it, it all kind of blended together. And so I thought I'd go ahead and rip the edges. And now not only did that give me a little bit more room where this pattern will pop out a little bit more, but it also gives me that white edge from the core of the paper and that kind of helps to really differentiate the two patterns one from the other. So I love how that turned out and white really is the accent color in this, which I just love because oftentimes I don't, I don't use white as the accent color. I don't embellish a lot with, with white. Uh, and so I thought this was a really fun kind of reversal of what I normally do. And that is it. That's my layout for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I've got links down below for you to check out. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be back tomorrow. So until then, happy scrapping. Bye. Bye. Thanks to me, to Robert, and to my channel.